guys. It's rainy out here. I get my hood on. Okay, there we go. I'm off to do some work. I have a lot of work to do for different things in our church. Scheduling. I'm like somehow like became like a scheduler for a lot of different things. Not a lot, just two. <laughs> and so I'm off to Starbucks. I've got my laptop back here and I'm gonna get to work in some peace and quiet. <laughs> just wanna go to a place where I feel like I'm away from the house and get my work done. <laughs> Being here reminds me of being in college. I went to college like right over there to community college. And in between classes and work, I would come to Starbucks. Sometimes with Sam, sometimes with friends, sometimes by myself. It's kind of noisy, but it's okay. It's still nice. It has a nice little atmosphere. And I got a comfy chair. Ooh. See that jigsaw puzzle of a schedule? I'm almost done with it. I have three more spots to fill. And I'm communicating with a few different people right now. And then I'm gonna get started on the next set of schedules for our GC. Work time is over for me. Symphony's home from school. And tomorrow is the 100th day of school. <laughs> so what are we making here, sis? A cape. A cape. That we have to wear there. That's right. Symphony school is not like all of the other schools in America where you dress up your child like what? an old person. I love that. As much as I like seeing all my friends' little kids dressed up like old people, and it would be fun to do that with somebody. I think it's really cool that her teachers are doing something unique. They're doing like a superhero day. Their theme at their school is super kids, so they're gonna wear a cape, and they have to put 100 items on the cape. Symphony has decided. Shopkins! Shopkins, oh yeah. So we went online and printed out all of these Shopkins. We're gonna cut them out and tape them on. Here you go. We're using my shipping tape from my reeds because I want it to stick the, um, material of the cape is like a tablecloth type feel. That looks awesome guys. Put them, put them through the top of it. This is, you want to show them your so, cape before we put the string in? How many Shopkins are on there? 99? 100. 100. I, I counted 99. But there's really 100. Oh, okay. So we're going to make sure these go under your collars. <laughs> All right, Symphony. Walk that way. Let's see. Whoa, Super Shopkin girl. That is awesome. What's your book? You like it? What? Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Come here. What? 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 Here, let me. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he doing? What? <laughs> You're such a goofball. What? <laughs> we eat the cookie chocolate. Hey! You want to eat it? You want to eat it? No, there's not a cookie shop can. Yeah, there's a cookie shop can. That's bread. Eat it, it looks buddy. like a donut. Eat it. Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. nom. Cookie, cookie You want to try it on? Took a Honda Pilot to the shop today, yes. waiting for the news. Whoa. All right. I'll figure out that you have a battery draw. Right. The battery, battery draw can be for 11 items that are hooked up to the fuse. It can be the radio, it can be the AC, it can be the navigation system, it can be the lift gate at the back of the car. So they're certain it's not the alternator, they said it's something draining the battery. When the car's supposed to shut down, they said something's being left on. It could be, an electric, it could be one of the electrical seats, it could be the radio. And they gotta take apart everything to do that. What a bummer. I guess it could be worse news though, right? All right guys, so since today's vlog was kind of lacking in content, we decided we're gonna provide you with a fun and educational, <laughs> educational. Q&A. Oh, yeah. Who's ready for Q&A time? Get excited, go <laughs> grab your popcorn. We'll be right back. We're you know about how to make we get sweet. goofy at the night time. At the night time. <laughs> At the night time. At the night time. <laughs> At the night time. This Q&A is live. We just now posted on Instagram that we are doing a Q&A and we're taking the questions right as you guys send them in. So if my buddy would get back over here. Question number one I'm comes from questions already. Joseph Hill. What is your biggest pet peeve? Mm, let me think about that. This is too close. <laughs> you need the other chair. Should we get the other chair? Uh, <laughs> sitting on my pet peeve stuff. is sitting in tall chairs. <laughs> 
my pet peeve is when someone's like, oh my gosh, did you know? Wait, never mind, I shouldn't tell you. I hate it when people do that. When it's like they're about to tell you something. And Are you like, going to tell no. us? <laughs> no, I don't have anything to say. I'm saying that's my pet peeve. Don't do this to me. This is my pet peeve. <laughs> you better tell me. You're not going to tell us? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> She's not going to tell us. Okay. Next question comes from Charlotte underscore B Bank. What's your favorite kind of pizza topping? It doesn't have to be a real one. It could be like gummy worms if you want. If you want. Mmm, that's a good question. Probably pizza. Pizza on your pizza? Pizza on one pizza? I like pineapples. I feel like if a piece of pizza has pineapples on it, it is the best pizza ever. Yeah, I really just like supreme to the max pizza. I generally don't like mushrooms, but if it's on my supreme pizza, I like it. What? Next question comes from A. Nakvosis. How do you think Abram will react to having a baby sibling? Have you explained it to him yet? I'm excited to see his reaction. Love you guys and your family. Today, he was looking at the thumbnail from yesterday, or the day before yesterday, and he was like, Juliet wants to come out. He kept telling Aww. me that. Juliet wants to come out. I think he's going to like welcome her with open arms when i hold babies or even like kids his age he's like put that baby down mommy put that baby down but this one's going to be juliet he talks about juliet i know that's right time. it's it's going to be pretty awesome i think he's going to be amazing big brother i can't wait i'm a little nervous for nursing because as some a lot of you know he just stopped nursing back in like november he oh was, that's going to be interesting he he noticed my neat needs as he always called him today for the first time he said something about it and he that? was like mommy has two neat needs I count them. Oh really? Yeah. He's <laughs> like one, two. I was. I had just got out of the shower. It was just so three. funny. Three. <laughs> Mommy had three nipples. He actually nipples? did count all the way to three. He did. You have a third nipple? People this is really not close. going in the vlog. You better People shut up. Have... People are gonna think I have one. Wow. You better stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Matthew has a third nipple. He's okay. He tells people it all the time. <laughs> It's just a little like mole type thing, but anyway, you get something black in your teeth. Oh, you gotta not put any of that in the vlog. This is a good one. A lot of people have been asking. From all you need is scrub. How did you guys pick your kid's name? Also, I'm so excited to order a wreath from Nia soon. Oh, thank you. All you need is scrub. No, all you need is scrub. Oh yeah, scrub. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so. Brian Griffith, 54. Did you both grow up as Christians? Yes. We did. This one just came in now. So right did you ever get discouraged when it came to your photography from Brittany Elaine 93 when I first started photography I would sometimes spend an entire day on a single photo and a couple days later come back to the phone and be like you gotta be kidding me I spent a day on this photo what was I thinking that process is absolutely necessary to become like efficient at anything like you it just takes a lot more work at the beginning anyway I'm getting off subject yes I did get discouraged but I stuck with it and that's what counts and now I can edit a photo like that see what's wrong with it and just like quickly fix it but I think that had to happen for me to get where I'm at so don't give up two seconds ago Olivia Rasmussen 28 if Juliet wasn't going to be named Juliet what was the second choice ooh I like that question it was going to be Jules no Romeo I like the name what was it Evelyn no Romana no, there was a oh, Lorraine. <laughs> this is funny. H. Christie said, what, what would, would you do, do for a Klondike, Klondike bar? bar? That's hilarious. <laughs> that is so funny because we're watching them pop up on Instagram. Right now, since I'm eating healthy, <laughs> I wouldn't do anything, really. That is so funny he answered that because I actually started thinking in my head, what would I do for a Klondike bar? That sounds really good. <laughs> she would send me to the store to go get one. Yeah. And she would have no qualms uh, about it. No. I'm not sure. I really want some pickles tonight. I kind of want to send him. Okay, Maddie H18 wants to know what is one quality that Symphony and Abram have that you would like Juliet to have? Oh, I like that. I feel like our kids both are really eager to learn, and that's a good quality to have. So hopefully she'll have that and not, you know, be lazy or something. <laughs> <laughs> what are your love languages, and when did you know you loved each other? Interesting that you would ask. That is interesting. Mia's love language is quality time and, um,. Words of affirmation. I think both of those. I think so. Mine's definitely words of affirmation and physical touch. Honey. <laughs> Would you, what do you agree? <laughs> Next question comes from none other than Hey, it's Lorenzo. Um, he asks, Hey guys, what would you want to be remembered for the most? That's interesting. For some reason, that's been at the forefront of my mind lately. Like, and one thing I've been thinking about is 
being generous. I want to be remembered as being generous. So that's something I'm working on. I feel like I want to naturally say it, be remembered as a, a devoted mom and wife because that's what I love doing. Yeah, it's great. All right, this next question that comes in is going to be the last one of the night. Kornikenko Family 6. I just wanted to tell you I love your family and I'm watching the vlog. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, thank you. That is so sweet. Thank you. Family 6. Appreciate it. Wasn't a question, guys, but we're going to end it there. Yeah, because we always say, don't forget, we love you. And remember to love each other. Just like that family of 6.